Alright, um, so it wants me to evaluate this logarithm without using a calculator. Now, some of you might be able to do this with your head, and that's perfectly fine. Um, for those of you that cannot do it in your head, let's use our properties of logarithms to rewrite this problem. So, since it's a division problem, I can rewrite it as multiple logarithms using subtraction. I don't like that marker anymore. Almost. So, log base 5 of 1 minus log base 5 of 125. Now, 5 raised to what number is going to give me 1? Well, you should know that properties of logarithms, any logarithm evaluated for 1 is going to give you 0 because anything raised to the 0 power gives you 1. And remember, that's what a logarithm is. What number 5 raised to, I'm sorry, 5 raised to what number gives me 1? Well, that's 0. Minus log base 5 of 125. So 5 raised to what number gives me 125? Well, that's going to be 3. So the answer is negative 3. And that's how you evaluate a logarithm like that, which you also could have done in your head. If you check it in your calculator, 5 over, actually, let's just look at this. 5 over negative 3 equals 1 over 125. Really? Well, remember, I can always rewrite the negative exponent as 1 over the positive exponent. And is 5 cubed 125? Yes, sir. So therefore, it is true. It does work. All right? You like that? Okay.